hi guys so today we're going to do this blue glitter eyeliner makeup look i hope you're going to enjoy this look and enjoy the video make sure you watch it to the end So as you can see we're already starting off and as usual we're going to start off with uh, defining our eyebrows using concealer and I'm using the what is it called oh ah, I should always write a list of these things <laughs> sorry guys we are starting by using the LA girl uh, pro concealer in the shade phone and I'm just using it to define my brows and I'm going to also apply it on uh, yeah, so defining my brows basically means or, or above and below, using it as a highlighter so that the brows can pop. So the purpose of concealer is usually to remove any discolorations or it can also be used as highlighter if, if you want something to be more visible, used for defining your brows for example. So when I apply the lighter shade of uh, concealer, the eyebrows are more visible as you can see I'm also applying it um, on the center of my between my brows and also on top of my eyelids and the reason I've not applied it all the way to my eyelids themselves is because I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer which is another different product um, so I'm just uh, making sure that uh, the, the eyeliner, the, sorry, the concealer is evenly spread and it has like a, a flat surface, you know, we don't want bumps or kicking or anything of the sort. So And now I'm just taking my eyeshadow base, which I mentioned, and this is the Elegal Hair High Definition Eyeshadow Primer in the color white. Now, as I said before in previous videos, if you want your eyeshadow to pop, or so that the colors can be more visible, use an eyeshadow base that is light, like this white one. So I'm just dabbing it in with a, with a brush, an eyeshadow brush, and making sure that it's evenly spread so that there's no kicking of the eyeshadow. So if your eyeshadow base is white or lighter than your skin tone, definitely your, your especially for us dark skinned people, your eyeshadow is going to be more visible. We usually have a problem with eyeshadows being visible. Now I'm just taking this ink blue shade from uh, this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm just applying it all over the crease of my eye. And this is a matte shade. So usually you want to start with a matte shade in the crease of your eye. And I'm just doing a, a kind of, I'm trying to make the line a bit straight because these other colors that I'm going to add. Now I'm just taking this light blue shade, it was nearly not visible on my screen but I hope you can see it. And I'm just going to apply this light blue shade just above the, immediately above the dark blue shade that I've just applied and all the way to the inner corner of my eyes. If you've noticed something, I didn't apply the dark blue shade all the way to the inner corners of my eyes, I just kind of left it hanging midway. And I'm just applying it in a circular motion. All the way up to my brows I'm just taking this Maybelline highlighter in the shade molten gold and I'm just going to dab it uh, to uh, just where the blue the light blue eyeshadow I placed it as you can see just on my brow bone just to highlight that area that's where I'm applying this highlighter specifically for highlight purposes And now I'm just taking this white shade. 
I usually prefer to take a, a, a glitter a glittery shade or a shimmery shade to apply on this part of the eyelid. However, because today we are going to use a glittery eyeliner, we are not going to do that. We are going to use a, a matte shade for this stage. So I'm using a white matte shade. And the reason for this, as I've said, is because I'm going to use a glittery eyeliner. Sorry guys, I don't I, I didn't want to do the, my eyeliner on camera because I'm still skeptical. However, as you can see, I've just lifted up a, a, a glittery uh, eyeliner and what I did is that I did apply the glittery eyeliner and then I, I defined it or rather I drew around it with a black one. So that's what happened and now I'm just taking this pencil. I'm just going to apply it below my um, eyes. I've already done that. Sorry guys again. It, it's it's tricky <laughs> so i apply that uh, eye pencil on uh, just where i'm applying this mess mascara right now and as you can see i'm using mascara now and i'm just using the maybelline mega colossal volume express mascara in the shade black and now i'm just taking this blue eyeshadow because i feel feel that it disappeared so i'm just dabbing it uh, onto the upper part of my of that dark blue one yeah where I had originally applied it, this light blue eyeshadow, and I'm just taking a, a brush and I'm just trying to blend it out so that it can be, you know, a lighter shade, so that it can create an ombre effect, basically. And I'm just doing circular motions to make sure that it creates that nice ombre effect so that it doesn't create, like, harsh lines, because this is not a cut crease, it's just a... And now I'm taking the Maybelline um, mascara, not mascara what am i what is happening today guys i'm so sorry for this i'm so sorry if you're watching this my videos for the first time this is not how i usually do videos but i'm taking the maybelline uh, the maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 352 which is truffle and i'm just dabbing it all over my face and as i've said in a previous video this is not my shade i don't know why i've still not yet gotten another shade but i'm getting new um what are they called new foundations very soon so i'm just using a brush to dab it in yeah we don't want our foundation to look streaky so we're just dabbing using that brush and i'm just dabbing 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 this foundation is really really not my color but forgive me guys And now I'm just taking this NYX uh, double-headed stick. It's, it's a highlight and contour stick, and I'm just applying it um, to highlight those areas and to also conceal them kind of. So I'm just applying the light one just below my eyes, on my jawline, and also across my not across my nose, all along my nose, on the T-zone. And to blend it all out, I'm going to use a brush again. I'm just using this contour brush uh, to, to dab it in so that it can be nice and flawless.
So next I'm just taking this Sasha buttercup yeah, setting powder and I'm just applying it all over the areas that I've highlighted. I normally feel that this uh, Sasha buttercup is not really that good for dark very dark skin it's good for medium skin tones so because uh the contoured areas of mine are really darker um it, it it's not really that good so it's good for the areas that uh you've highlighted if you're a bit dark and i'm just taking this brown lip pencil and i'm applying it all over my lips i've already highlighted my lips as you saw and i was using the maybelline uh, highlighter again in the shade mountain gold and this brown pencil is not really visible because it's really just brown it's basically just exactly the color of my lips so that's what i'm using to apply all over my lips and i'm just taking this luron lipstick not to be confused with l'oreal this is luron in the shade dark chocolate it's just a I, I believe it's a local brand i'm not really sure it's a local kenyan brand if i'm not wrong very nice lipstick applies well the only issue is that of course it's the kind of lipstick that you need to walk around with because you it will it will come off definitely and to the center of my lips i'm just going to apply the shade uh, going steady by la girl no la colors yes it's a matte shade and it's really nice really affordable and um, i'm just applying it in the center of my lips as i've said And I'm just now taking a brush to remove the excess setting powder so that we can have a nice, smooth and flawless finish. Yeah, so that we can now showcase what we have done. Thank you so much people for reaching this point. If you've reached this point, make sure that you give this video a like and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Because seriously, you've watched almost the entire video and I'm so grateful for that. I cannot take it for granted. Thank you so, so much, whoever you are. I appreciate a few moments later and this is the final look guys it's a really nice uh matte eyeshadow with just a tiny glitter finish and yeah as you can see our skin is glowing i did apply highlighter sorry guys again this video was in a mess i didn't show you that i did apply but i did and i'll see you in my next video ciao